Hey there, and welcome to the very first video in this Airtable series, in which we are going to cover what is Airtable, what are the main differences between a spreadsheet service like Excel or Google Sheets, when should you use Airtable, and a quick tutorial on how to get started with Airtable. So if these are some of the questions that you've been trying to wrap your head around, then watch until the end of this video because we are going to answer them one by one. But before jumping into our content, first, let me introduce myself. My name is Javier and I am a data analyst and an automation consultant. And ever since I came across Airtable, I fell in love with the tool. And in this video, I wanted to show you why I really like it. By the way, I'm teaming up with Bravo Studio to put together this piece of content. So it is our hope that you find it useful. And if you have any questions, please don't be shy and drop it in the comments below. Either someone from Bravo Studio or myself, we will do our best to answer them. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so what is Airtable then? Well, Airtable is a powerful database with the look and feel of a spreadsheet. So as you can see from the screen, uh, we've got um, you know different opportunity names here, Timber Shadow Expansion, AC Tube Inquiry, um, LKS Rec. Um, so all of those are rows. And here at the top, we got a status, priority, owner, account, and so forth. And this is what we call columns, right? So if you are very familiar with the spreadsheets, it might look a bit the same, but the main difference between a database like this one and, and a spreadsheet is that each row has a unique identifier. And what I mean by that is just if I open up here and I call this uh, record ID, and let's reveal what is uh, this record ID. So this you know, string of text here is a unique identifier of that entire row, okay? So Timber Shadow Expansion, this opportunity name, if I click on that to expand the record, this is all the information associated with this record. Okay, and as you can see, we've got different field types. We've got um, a single select with the kind of like a drop down menu, and then we've got a priority, also a single select field, then owner, and so forth. I'm not going to go over into the detail of each type of field. So if I now download this information in a CSV and import it into a Google spreadsheet, then you can see that we've got pretty much the same thing, okay? But um, the difference between, again, a database and a Google Sheets is that each cell has a unique value. Another way of, you know, thinking about that is, you know, in Google Sheets or Excel, we can merge sales, okay? The other difference as well, and I think it's, um, it's a big one too, is that Airtable is what we call a relational database. And what I mean by that is in this example of a sales CRM, we've got different tables at the top here like they look these tabs okay like opportunities interactions accounts and contacts so this is what we call tables and each table we are inside the opportunities one so this opportunity can be linked to different accounts which i believe it's they are companies this opportunity is also linked to different contacts and also interactions like demo, 
or a discovery call or a pricing discussion as we can see here so it's all connected basically so now if we go to see the timber shadow account here at the accounts table and let's type timber shadow there you go so this record inside the accounts table is associated with Scott Brewer in the contacts table and is associated with one opportunity called Timber Shadow Expansion. And moreover, if you're interested in actually see the relationships between each table, um, you can have uh, what we call a base schema. So if you add this schema here, will give you all the relationships between each field, like the formulas, and also what are the relationships between one table and another one. And the other big difference between Airtable and Google Sheets is that the views are much more powerful here in Airtable than in Google Sheets because they actually leverage the data types that you have here such as you know single select uh, dates and so forth to create different visualizations so you can view this data in a different way so let's take for instance this sales pipeline and if you are familiar with a trello board this looks like the same so you can drag and drop these cards and this information is being updated you know at the record level so if i go now to timber shadow expansion on the all opportunities you will see that now it's on evaluation so um let's take a look timber shadow expansion it's on evaluation and if i go back and move it to uh, qualification then i go back here and there you go qualification there you could also for instance, um, switch this view in a grid type to a calendar format and you might be able to see the, the opportunities filtered out by the you know, close dates if you want. And these are using the proposal deadline or the expected close date as the main um, field type to construct or to build this calendar for you. So as you can see, there are different views that you could select here on the left hand side. We've got um, gallery and even a Gantt chart to show the records with uh, dependencies, especially very useful when you're you know, managing projects um, that has like different deadlines and so forth. So this would be the um, Gantt view builder and you will select the you know the date fields that you'd be interested in I'm gonna skip the setup but uh, because it doesn't make sense for this um, sales CRM uh, example but if you have a project management um, board then I think this might become very handy for you another nice feature and also a difference between you know our table and google sheets is that you could group by fields and this is really useful if you like to consume the information in this way where you want to group the information by um, status or another one maybe the by owner if i'm interested in seeing okay how many opportunities my team members have and lastly the other main difference between Airtable and a Google Sheet is that inside Airtable you could store as well attachments so if I type here attachments and I find the field type then I could upload any type of file here PNGs uh, PDFs videos as well so Again, if you 
store that information there and upload it, you could leverage the gallery view because now the cards will have um, an image there. So if it loads, there you go. And if I click on gallery, and if I customize the cards uh, to show the attachments, then there you go. So when should you use our table over Google Sheets? Well, let's flip this question around and start by mentioning some of the user cases that make Google Sheets a no-brainer. So if you need to make some quick calculations or even create like um, complex uh, reporting systems, then Google Sheets is the place to go because you know spreadsheets were designed and built for accounting and finance purposes and it gives you more flexibility when it comes to creating those calculations. So if you are in those cases, then I would say stick around with uh, Google Sheets. On the other hand, if you care about how your information is a structure and you want to do something with it, like, uh, you know, tracking progress or see how it evolves over time, consume it in a different way, such as, you know, gallery view or, or calendar, then I would suggest you go with Airtable because it will adapt to your workflow. In addition to that, Airtable is also great when it comes to creating no-code applications because it has a very user-friendly interface for non-techies and it integrates with many other tools and has a very detailed API documentation that I'm going to show you right now. So if I click here on the Airtable API, let's open up maybe the sales CRM. So you'll see here uh, that this is all the um, API docs. If you go to the opportunities table, and then I'm interested in fields, then this would be the, the type of information that you would probably need when you want to connect to a different endpoint or an other API in a no-code application. By the way, in future videos, we will cover how we can manipulate our Airtable API to get the information we want in our Bravo application. So if this is something that you're interested in, subscribe to the Bravo Studio channel so you don't miss out the new videos. Now let's take a look at some of the limitations. The first one that I think is uh, worth mentioning is that even though our table is free to start with, it has a limitation when it comes to um, records per base of 1200. So if you're planning to store a huge amount of information, maybe you should consider other services. The other limitation of our table is that you could um, store up until two gigabytes of attachments per base, meaning that if you're planning to upload heavy files such as videos or images, you probably reach that limit easily. Last but not least, I like to wrap up this video by showing you how can you get started with our table really quick. So this is the home page when you are assigning user of our table. And as you can see, this page is divided into workspaces. So inside a workspace, you could store the different bases and think of a base like a Google Sheet file. So you can add a new base inside this workspace by clicking here. And this will prompt me uh, this little pop-up that says, okay, would you start with a template? Would you like to import data or start from scratch? So I always recommend by taking a look at the templates that are available inside our table, because maybe you see a use case that you can build upon. So I'm gonna click on that. And I'm interested in a project tracker so if I click on this, it'll open up a new 
page where I can see the description of this template and then I'll have um, like a preview so I can even click on the different tabs which I recall you that is uh, a table and if I like what I see then I could use this template and it will be automatically added to my workspace and there you go this is the the base description uh, at the beginning so now you have successfully installed an Airtable template that you could start editing right away and if some of the fields don't make too much sense to your case uh, feel free to adjust them to your liking or even delete them so this is your base now and as I said earlier this is just a very basic overview of what you can do with Airtable and I hope the information I shared was helpful to you. Thank you and see you around.